Okay, next subject would be our grant that we just received. Um, and I'm hearing, you know, a lot of talk, so tell us a little bit more about that. What are we doing with all this money that our okay. college is getting? Well, we did a proposal last year uh, to the Department of Ed. It's a Title III grant, so only Hispanic-serving institutions were eligible for the grant. Our proposal um, was around STEM education and increasing the number of Latinos that um, major in STEM majors. Uh, so we have uh, biomedical science and uh, forensic science. We are, we're definitely looking at um, ways to work with the local high schools. Uh, we have seven feeder schools where we will have a college coach. So someone, and they're primarily um, Hispanic, and so being able to have a college coach really showing how college is possible, uh, talking about careers in STEM fields. Um, we also have additional tutoring support, um, helping with retention, because it's one thing to recruit students, but making sure that the wraparound services are there to support them and also be able to um, uh, have them graduate in those majors and get jobs and being able to have exposure to careers in STEM fields. We also um, are looking at some of the supplies that might be helpful. So from a technology standpoint, laptops, Wi-Fi, uh, any, any um, additional support, whether that's equipment, support, uh, people support, uh, tutoring, library, um, we're trying to make that available so that um, we can increase the college participation rate. Uh, because that is a uh, certainly Latino students growing population in Northwest Indiana it's something we're very proud of we are the first Hispanic serving institution in the state of Indiana we have the highest uh, diversity index in the state of Indiana um, so we are in a unique and very special place and so how we can um, help with some of the the goals for the state of Indiana but also federal goals uh, to make sure that we are a resource for college education and graduate students and that they're able to uh, have a great liberal arts education but also a career focus and and I know you've you've had a great opportunity while you've been here for an internship and additional uh, grant support and some some work during your senior year and yes. hopefully a job um, after you graduate so yep that is the goal yeah still seeing that one through I'm about I'm a little more than halfway through okay on um, the internship so I got hired in uh, September of last year so September of next year will be my two-year you know, expiration kind of from, okay. from when I started. That's so, great. Yeah. And that's at Horizon Bank and you're one yes. of the Horizon Scholars. So that's the other critical piece of the um, uh, the grant. It's a $5 million grant. It's a million dollars a year. So it's not, five million sounds like a huge amount, but it's a million dollars a year for five years. And the other big piece of that is for internships and careers in STEM fields to be able to help students see that pathway from in high school, let's see, do I want to go to college or not? Uh, so we want to increase that college going rate. Then what do I want to major in? Well, being able to identify some of the um, science majors, technology, engineering, math, uh, and then being able to, uh, once students get here, if they want to major in a uh, for us, it's mostly science fields. If they want to major in that field, that we make sure we have support services. And then really connecting it to career and what can I do with that major. So it's, it's really uh, starting in the high schools, getting high school students interested, uh, getting them then uh, to consider majors. Not, not everyone will major in STEM, but to consider um, STEM majors and then to also be able to identify what they can do with a, a major in biomedical science or uh, um, so that they can kind of chart a path to their career. Right, yeah. right, and I believe the, the college coach is Melissa Benavides. It is. Um, she's wonderful, I think she'll be yeah. perfect for the position. Um, she's so fantastic. she'll be out in all the schools yes. and um, 
and not necessarily just recruiting for Calumet College. It's really to um, help students in the, the seven high schools that I mentioned um, really uh, think more about going to college and yes. hopefully we can be a resource and, and then Calumet College is an option. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That's yeah. awesome. Um, so as, besides, you know, recruiting students here with the grant, is there anything else that we're doing with it? That's the primary. I think I've covered everything in the grant, um, but probably what I would also mention, um, it is part of a larger initiative around fundraising um, for the institution. So in 2020, um, we did work with the Lilly Endowment and we did receive a million dollar um, uh, grant that was used to renovate this library. So yes, that's another one when you think it's been a long year, but it hasn't even been a year since we started the renovation of the library. So the, um, the Lilly grant funded a number of new initiatives in academics. So our collaboration uh, with Ivy Tech for cybersecurity, um, our collaboration with uh, Marion University for nursing, um, our public safety program, education program. So those programs that are strong programs for us, um, and then also some scholarship support. So that was another big grant I wanted to mention. Um, I've also uh, been working to raise scholarship dollars. So uh, we've received a couple significant contributions for student scholarships. And that is a component of our fundraising campaign. So the residence hall, the athletic field, the next biggest component would be um, student scholarships. So those are mostly um, to support need-based scholarships, but they are also, uh, there are some merit criteria in a few of them, uh, but for the most part, it's, it's need-based scholarship support. So for our students, um, I have one proposal out that I hope is successful to help us fund our zero EFC scholarships. So uh, those are students that qualify for the greatest need in scholarship support and hopefully um, being able to fund that externally would be a, a big benefit to the college. And um, the teacher scholarships, that's another thing I'm working on just because Northwest Indiana is in such um, great need for teachers and there's a gap between the open positions and the supply of teachers going in, especially certain fields. And so uh, we've had a longstanding teacher education program and being able to um, provide scholarship support for teachers currently in a traditional track teacher education program, but um, equally important, the transition to teacher. So if someone is in a, a different career path and doesn't find it fulfilling, but thinks they might be a good teacher, uh, being able to give them scholarship support and obviously those are typically your adult students that want to make a career change or in some cases they've retired from a career but yet they still want to work and do something they could come and in a 14 months do a transition to teaching program and become a teacher perfect yeah yeah i think that's something that draws students here is how much scholarship we give um, it gives people who don't think they have you know, the money or the opportunity to come to college and get further education, the opportunity to do so. Um, so I think our college does a fantastic job already yeah. of providing that support to students. So this fundraising campaign um, will only help more. And so the more students that come, you know, the more successful we yeah. can be. A majority, not 100 percent, but uh, in the high 90s, uh, of our students get some sort of scholarship support. Yes. And so um, I think uh, the veterans get some uh, scholarships, certainly tuition aid um, by the federal government. And then uh, Hammond has college bound, Whiting has some scholarship programs. So there are external scholarships for some students, um, but probably 95% of our students get some sort of scholarship support. Absolutely. especially our traditional age students.